Welcome back everyone to the State of the Nation. Let's get the latest on the economy after the IMF team came to assess what we did with the first tranche of the bailout package. Well, according to them, we fell short in certain instances, but the government seems to be uh, very confident that we certainly will get the second tranche as well. Despite saying that all is well, the indicators of our economy are showing a different picture. The government said uh, that the IMF-backed financial plan that is being pushed by them is working. In order for our economy to come out of this crisis, we need to find ways and means of growing our economy. However, in the second quarter of 2023, our economy contracted by another 3.1%, meaning we are not growing, we are shrinking. However, many financial analysts in the region indicate that Sri Lanka's tough times are still ahead. And who's going to feel those hard times? Certainly not the top tier of our society. They're fine. That's why they love this IMF back plan because it helps them more. But the SMEs, the middle to lower income category of our society, well, they are the ones who will take the hit. Listen to what uh, the Sri Lanka Business National Alliance Chairwoman Tanya Abhisundra told us earlier. Watch. Thank you, Mahesh, for your question. Help in the SMV sector in what way that I would want to ask a question back from the government because the policies that the government has implemented as no and never so far has helped the SME at all. Uh, if the government wants to uh, help the SMV, they have to directly intervene into a condition that is being implemented by the government themselves. Today, the government policies that has been taken overall is affecting the SMEs, not the international companies, not the multinational company, not the blue chip companies, but only it is affecting the SMEs. Because for the simple reason, they have to realize the consumer market relies within the country. So this market is being suppressed to a level with unnecessary, unethical, unprecedented decisions taken by the government. Today, if the government wants to help the SMEs, they have to realize in bringing down the interest, bringing down the utility bills. Now the government is expecting to increase utility bills another 25 percent. How can that be helping? So it is helping themselves to run the government, not to run the country. Well, that was the uh, chairwoman of the Sri Lanka Business National Alliance, Tanya Abhisundra, speaking to us earlier. Now, you do the math. Are you in an excellent financial status where you are quite comfortable uh, going without any difficulties? Or is your head is on fire trying to figure out expenses for this month? Now, the IMF team ended its first tranche assessments uh, and they left the country and uh, they put out a statement on their way out. While the first paragraph praised the efforts of the government, sandwiched between praises is the key component of the visit. They're basically asking us to read between the lines. The really stated it, and I quote, the authorities have met the program's primary balance targets and remains committed to this important pillar of the program so as to support their efforts to restore debt sustainability. However, revenue mobilization gains, while improved relatively to last year, are expected to fall short of initial projections by nearly 15% by the year end. While partially due to economic factors, the onus of fiscal adjustments would fall on public expenditure if there were no efforts to recoup the shortfall. What they are trying to say is that because you didn't do this exactly how the IMF said to the letter, the plan is going to fail and then it's not the IMF's fault. Let's get the latest on these negotiations and joining me now is the State Minister of Finance, Shahan Semisingal. Thank you very much, Minister, for your time. Uh, Minister, uh, where are we with regard to the second tranche discussions with the IMF? Well, uh, firstly, we'll have to uh, conclude the first review, which is in progress right now. We have achieved uh, progress in the review. There are a few points that uh, we need to discuss further, both authorities, that is, uh, the IMF team and the authorities of uh, Sri Lanka. Especially, uh, the main concern was uh, whether we are getting the expected revenues. I think we are uh, finding alternate uh, measures to find uh, revenue. Uh, we are, there is a shortfall in the revenue. Uh, so, once we relax importation uh, restrictions by 
next month we will be able to uh, get additional revenue of course i must say that uh, vehicles will not be relaxed uh, as at now and then uh, tax administration needs to be strengthened that is something which we have identified because we have not got the required uh, tax base uh, enhancement as we anticipated but however the remit system which is in existence uh, right now will get strengthened and uh, they will uh, upgrade their system to make uh, make uh, or basically eliminate human interaction between the tax authorities and the tax payers so that will happen within the next uh, couple of weeks i think once we are done with those uh, measures we will get uh, the anticipated revenues because uh, the uh, i mean uh, downtrend of low uh, of uh, government revenue was one of the key uh, concerns on the economic crisis so we'll have to take all measures uh, to ensure that we don't uh, get back to a crisis situation Minister, finally, uh, despite the upbeat mood of the government on the economy, uh, many analysts in the region are predicting that the rupee to once again uh, reach new lows, more economic uh, contractions, and a really tough time for the middle-income class. Your response? But I think, uh, firstly, the comparison should come with regards to twenty, uh, with regards to the situation in twenty twenty two. You, when you are comparing the situations, please ensure that uh, you don't ignore. Uh, what was in existence in 2022 so that was the uh, height of the crisis but if you see we don't see uh, that amount of difficulties but however there are further difficulties which are being faced by the general public which the government is addressing so we are expecting the economy uh, to get further strengthened by the end of the year the basically uh, by the end of the last quarter of 2023 and uh, we are very confident that we will go in for a growth in 2024 so yes we went into a crisis we are emerging from the crisis so if somebody wants to compare how we have emerged and then a non crisis period i think uh, it is not a reasonable comparison i know there are a very limited group trying to see all the negative aspects of the recovery process but majority of uh, people wants to see the economy doing well and for them to do well so that is what our concern and we will ensure that we get a better economy in 2024 and definitely go in for a growth in 2024 indeed all right thank you uh, let's leave it at that that was the state minister of finance shahan sem singh a break now most state of the nation right after this back in a minute